arise this morning to speak to young women and to girls in our great state and beyond. I rise to speak directly to all girls, cis and trans alike. First, despite what others may say, I want to be clear, trans girls are girls. Trans women are women, and we see you. You see, when I was growing up, sports were a central part of my life. However, back then in the early aughts, adults said incredibly cruel things to me about gay athletes. At first, they pretended like same-sex attraction wasn't real. Then, when they could no longer deny that, they said that people who love like me, that people who are gay, they said that there was something wrong with us. Adults said that we didn't belong in the same locker rooms with people of our same gender. They made straight athletes feel afraid by suggesting that a gay athlete would make a sexual advance or touch them inappropriately during games. As a consequence, many gay athletes didn't feel safe to come out. I didn't feel safe to be who I truly am. In college, I became an elite athlete, and I had the great privilege of representing our country on the United States national team. I played team handball on the world stage, proudly wearing a uniform with USA emblazoned on the back, while never feeling free to be my full self. As I stand here today, the very accusations and mischaracterizations that were hurled at me some 20 years ago are now being used to harm a new generation of children. And I want you to know that they were wrong to be afraid of us and to deny us of our dignity then, and they are wrong to be afraid of you and to deny your dignity now. I am committed to creating a world where you do not have to go through what I went through. I am committed to creating a world where girls, all girls, get to feel safe and free to be exactly who they are. Finally, with the authority that I have as a trained theologian and ordained pastor, I want all young women all girls and non-binary students to understand this. You are loved by God. You are created in the image of a God who transcends any human concept of gender, feminine, masculine, and non-binary alike. Friends, you are loved. I yield the well. <laughs>